What's going on, everybody? It's the Nitty, and I'm bringing you episode four of my Brink playthrough. This is the Smash and Grab mission, mission two for the security side, and it's pretty straightforward. I mean, that's exactly what you got to do: is smash and grab. But uh, I finally got my Brink pre-order code from GameStop. I don't know why it took so long, or what was going on there, but I finally got it. I was a little disappointed. I should have got the one from Director Direct to Drive. They got some really sick rewards on that side of the thing. But uh, what I got was a bandana for the uh, resistance, which says Doom on it with, you know, you can do different colors. You get a body tattoo, which is pretty cool, but I don't want to start my character over, so I can't use it. And then you get uh, a beanie and um, two weapon customizations for uh, skins for your ball pin. SMG, I think that's how you say it. Probably not. I've gotten just about every other gun wrong. Uh, I still call it the whatever the fuck shotgun is. Supposedly it's called the hammer time, but whatever. Uh, and they look pretty cool, but, you know, nothing too spectacular. But at least I finally got it. I mean, I, I thought for sure it was just a lost cause, and it was all bullshit, to be honest. But here we go. You're getting in, and uh, the first thing you want to do in this mission is you have to hack the control box down below and there's a couple ways of getting around you can go down and around through the other way and then you can drop down up above them through this way which is I found the best way to go usually I mean you can get picked off pretty easy as you see they're all down there but you're able well not well usually you're able to back up unless you just get shit on just like that but you can back up and in and out in and out in and out and kind of pick them off as you go um, so I found that it's the best way to go down through here. The other ways you kind of get wrapped up and you get kind of stuck. And then this way you can just kind of throw grenades down, knock them down, and pick them off as you go. And you see most of the team coming down through this way for whatever reason. Usually the bots go the other way. And this time they decided to come right down through here and get up in their faces. But once you get down through here, you got to hack the security box. And then you got to go break into a safe, get the data key and just take off like a bat out of hell and once again hope that the bots don't pick it up before you do that's why I tend to like switch to engineer stay right in front of it get it and go and so you know if, if on my suggestion it would either be to use light body style or medium body style on this map if you're running with bots if you're running with a team you know you may be able to uh, get away with it but I would have the guy with the light body style or the medium body style take off with that data key because they're you know a hell of a lot harder to catch you. There's a lot more uh, things you can jump up and around to get away from bolt fire and just get there. And um, so yeah, but this is a huge choke point. This can go really bad, really quick. Um, it's just like it seems like the longer I play this, the bots either get dumber or maybe I'm just getting a little bit better against bots. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know how you can get better against these bots because they're oh, they're god awful, but um, yeah. So you just hack this, and you'll see they they come from this area here where you see this guy coming around. And I stop hacking because usually if I don't, I'll get caught. Like, it, it, but if I do, they they run away. But they'll they'll come from the left. They'll come from the right. They'll come from behind you. So you got to watch that, that too because and there's actually a place you do not have to be standing in this room to hack this box. You can start hacking it from around the back behind it and which is probably the better place in which I should probably stand more often because they don't come through there at all it seems. So you know, take that for what it is, try it behind, try it in front. I'd probably say going behind it's a lot easier. I don't know why I don't do it to be honest. Um, which I should, but we we hack this, and there and when you're going to get into the safe, there's always going to be at least two to three guys sitting here. Right now, there's only one. Um, I'm not sure if the bots took a couple out, but every time other than this, I played it. There's at least three guys sitting right there. Another thing you're going to notice is there will always be guys dropping down and parking themselves on top of that ramp, or not on top of the ramp. But on top of the safe, like the, the, the box the safe is in, 
So if you come around here, you can kind of flank these guys. They don't pay attention too much. Probably be a better bet to even set down a turret, which I think I do here once I clean clean up a little bit. And uh, again, I'm using the, the same pistol and light rifle as I was the last match. I'm going to switch it up again in my next episode because I still think we got 11 or 12 episodes to go. So I got plenty of time to play with all the weapons. Um, my next video I'll get into, I'll show you guys the... Uh, the Doom Pack rewards that you get, and then you guys... I don't know if they're still offering or not. I don't know if it was just a pre-order thing or what, to be completely honest. They might still be offering the packs, or they might be op offering them as optional download downloadable content later. Man, I don't know what it is, but I think YouTube makes me stutter because I don't talk like this in real life. Maybe I'm trying to talk too fast, but uh, try to get it all packed in and all at once. Uh, I've also noticed that I think... They announced the first DLC is going to be free, which is a good thing. I, I don't think they have, uh, I don't think Brink here has a big enough uh, following to have payable DLCs at this point. Hopefully, they'll fix a lot of the problems in Brink 2. Hopefully, they'll fix a lot of problems with a big old patch with the downloadable content. But, uh, yeah, so like I said, one of your best bets is to kind of come up here and pop down a turret right here in this little area right here to kind of defend yourself. A little bit while you're trying to get into this I think yeah there I, I finally put it down like the smart guy I am before I don't know what I was thinking chasing people around but it does it does help ward off a little bit it may not save you completely depending on your team but it will help you ward off just that little bit extra you need because cracking the safe does take quite a long time I mean obviously it's better if you have more engineers but we all know how that works at this point so Hacking the safe is probably the most difficult part of this mission, I would say. Um, I've never had too much of a problem escorting the data once I got a hold of it. Uh, like I said, if a bot gets a hold of it, you're in trouble. But if you get a hold of it, just take off like a bat out of hell, which I'll show you here in a minute. I'll show you the path. Just boogie your ass off and get there and get it done. Um, I was also going to go through here and I don't know maybe maybe I'll let you guys set up my next uh, class how about that uh, you guys pick the weapons for me pick the attachments and that's what I'll do I'll, I'll do it like that that way you know you guys aren't sitting here waiting on a gun that you may want to see used and see it played with a little bit so you guys are going to pick my next gun and the attachments that I'm going to use and both secondary and um main hand matter of fact you can even pick my body type you pick the body type my secondary and main hand weapons and the attachments and that's what I'm going to do so here you see I bust the safe open and I take off like a bat out of hell you do not want to get stuck because once you get stuck is when the issue occurs so just run run like Forrest Gump and just haul ass right up these steps right out through here right here not right here, but up here just a little bit is where you're gonna you may or may not run into people. I took a wrong turn like an idiot, even though I've ran this mission probably a dozen times. And see I got I got a guy aiming at me, so I know I gotta get down. But right up here, yep, right here when you see these security, the the waypoints here, the metal detectors is where you're gonna run into a lot of people because they spawn off to the left right over here, but they can't shoot worth a shit. So once you get here, it's game over. And this is a pretty straightforward mission to smash and grab. Just be prepared to have a hell of a hard time getting the safe crack because that's the longest part of the mission. So, yes, so don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. You know, pick my weapons, pick my body type. We'll get it done that way. I got a Battlefield gameplay coming up next and then a home front gameplay after that. And then we'll get right back into the Brink gameplay, guys, for you guys. So, you know, as always, enjoy your day. Peace.